Hey everybody, it's Faith from Fireside Tarot. I hope everyone is well. Sagittarius. Fire! It is time for your October round two reading. So, I'm trying out a new spread. Not really for cross watchers, but if you're a cross watcher, come in. More than welcome to hang out. Take something out of it. Okay, that's fine. But this goes more into strengths and weaknesses, um, what you want out of life, what needs to go to get it, what's coming in, what you got to do, potential outcome, what you might need to do to avoid an outcome, you know, things of that nature. But enough of that. This will be for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. If it resonates with y'all, cool. It's your free will. Do whatever you choose to do. The message given by the cards. If you choose to do anything at all, it's your journey, not mine. I'm just throwing down cards. If it doesn't resonate, that's okay, too. Check your Moon, Rising, your Venus, Sun, reading. If you think you might want something that might resonate a little bit better, just keep in mind, time and energy are both fluid. All things can be vice versa. might even play out from the perspective of a cross-watcher. But like I just said, it's not really for cross-watchers. Everybody's welcome at my table. All the time. New or old, if you're new, thanks for coming by. If you want to come by and hang out some more, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you know when I upload. I go in streaks. Right now I'm on a hot streak. I'm feeling pretty good. Um, the weather's semi-decent outside, so my arthritis isn't, like, forcing me to not be able to sit for too long, not be able to use my hands. So, anywho, if you're returning, welcome back. I missed your face. Go ahead and hit that like button. If you so choose, it all helps the channel and is all greatly appreciated. It helps the videos be circulated to those who may need the message. So, two quick things. Never make a life altering decision based on a tarot reading. I don't care whose cards they are, mine or anybody else's. And two, if it's not your message, it doesn't resonate with you, it's not yours. Leave, leave the cards on the table and walk away. It just wasn't meant for you, okay? All right, so we're gonna throw them down. Heavenly Father, Mother with Holy Spirit, Spirit Guides, Archangels, I ask for any messages you have for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Thanks for coming down and hanging out with me today. I appreciate you and I'm grateful and thankful for this gift that I've been given. I ask that you help me clearly and accurately bring Sagittarius to their highest possible spiritual good and put them on their highest possible spiritual path. Sag, what's going on? Hot damn! Look at that! That's a new beginning in love! Hmm... Could be a totally new person. Might be somebody old. I don't know. We'll see what the rest of the cards might have to say. What is your strength? Empress reversed. How is that a strength? Hmm. This is what I'm clarify. What is your weakness? Ten of cups reversed. Oh, shoot. Hmm. Well... Okay. What do you want? Ten of Pentacles. Okay. <laughs> What's got to go to get it? Temperance. What? Say what? Oh, you need to calm down. You stressed. I get it. What's coming in? Ace of Pentacles. Well, hot diggity dog, y'all. It's coming in, so you're going to get there. What you got to do? Ten of Wands. You got to release something. You got to get a monkey off your back. You're heavily burdened, sunshine. What's the potential outcome? Four of Wands reversed. Oh, I don't like that. And I say potential because things have to happen in a certain order. This is where strengths and weaknesses get involved. Okay. I'm not going to throw anything on that Ace of Cups. It's beautiful. I'm not going to fuck it up for you. So, uh, these poor cards. Oh, honey, these poor cards. Okay. 
I've got to replace this deck, these poor cards. Okay. Universe Source Spirit Guides. Tell me why this Empress Reversed is a strength. Five of Pentacles Reversed. King of Swords reversed. Oh, snap. You know when something ain't gonna grow. You know when something ain't gonna prosper. You know when to not jump. Two of Wands. You know when to let go and move on. Three of Cups. You can disconnect. It's like a damn switch. That's your strength. You can read it. You can feel it. You can sense it. You know. You know. By the King of Swords reversed. Oh, must be important. Six of wands. You know when to stand up. I'm hearing you know when to get loud. <laughs> you know when to make it known. And that's what I'm hearing. That's what I'm feeling. You know when to make it known. You know how to use your voice. You know how to walk into a room or a situation. You make an exit, you make an entrance. Get what I'm saying? I'm not I'm not beating that dead horse anymore. Why is the Ten of Cups reversed a weakness? Why is the Ten of Cups reversed a weakness? Nine of Pentacles, Independence. Nine of Swords. Oh. Six of Swords. <laughs> there it is. There it is. There it is. Nine of Wands. There's three nines laying there, y'all. Your walls go up. You get anxious. You're extremely independent. Those waters get a little bit choppy. You sail on. I don't think you wait around long enough for something to make you happy. That's where they coincide. You got to calm down. Mm. You got to calm down. Nine of Wands, I was in fight mode. Always got your walls up. You got to calm down and find your balance, baby. All right. Okay. I'm not clarifying these. These are speaking for themselves. I'm not clarifying this. This is just screaming at me right now. Yeah, this is this is the what's got to go, but this is what has to come in. Negative energy and anxiety needs to leave. This is what needs to come in. Learning to be able to, how to flow things together. Lots of ten of wands here. Three wands. Three 
wait, wait. Ace of Wands. Something needs to be released before something new can begin. Sag. I won't get loud with you. I don't. But why is three wands here? Another ace of cups. That ship's coming in. That ship is coming in, that ship is coming in hot, that ship is coming in fast. Hot and fast. New starts coming. But you need to exercise patience. I know. It's not your strong suit. It's not mine either, I'm a sad son. I'm the least impersonal patient. Yeah, uh, at least impersonal patient. Oh, shit. I'm the least impatient person I know. <laughs> the you know what I'm trying to say? I'm a little tongue tied. Okay, I, I'm not patient with things either. Let's just throw that out there. Okay, mm. not gonna beat the dead horse anymore. Why is this four of wands reversed for the potential outcome? Ten of cups. The prosperity card with the ultimately happiest card in the deck and the second happiest card in the deck. But it's not built on a steady foundation. So how do you make the foundation steady? Drop some sticks. Release your burden. Easiest read. It's the easiest one. The world at the bottom of the deck. Old things got to go. New things can, get, can come when old things can go. This is a nasty habit right here. Some of you, I don't think you let things come to a completion because you hang on to your independence so damn hard. You get anxious. You put your walls up. So what's your strength? No one to walk away from something. You know how we learn by experience? I think some of you have had some pretty bad experiences. Don't let those bad experiences, don't let those bad experiences carry into the new. You got to drop your sticks. You got to allow balance to come in. Let's get your advice. Let's get your advice. Ace of Wands, King of Pentacles. Page of Swords in the World. Sometimes the advice has absolutely nothing to do with the reading, but we're going to go with it anyway.
Page of Swords reverse. Sometimes things are hard to hear. Things are hard to swallow. And sometimes things have to come to an end for new things to begin. And sometimes that's painful. Sometimes that's hurtful. But sometimes it is the universe's way of making room. Four Cups and the Magician. Two of Cups reversed, Five of Swords reversed. You know what to shy away from. You know what to shy away from. Someone tries to hand you a cup, you're not sure what's in that cup, especially if it's somebody you've already dealt with. Don't let it defeat you a second time. So with this, sometimes you got to say things to people you don't want to say. Sometimes you got to let things come to a close that need to come to a close. So you can drop some sticks and build a solid foundation for your new starts, baby. So some of y'all hanging on to something you don't need to be hanging on to anymore, person, situation. Stop it. Just stop it. You manifest a new. Fool at the bottom of the deck. Ain't that something, Satch? Oh, oh, oh. Sometimes to achieve our destiny, you got to do the work. Okay, Sag, I love you. Thanks for coming down. I appreciate it. I'm going to close this one out. Know that you're loved. Be blessed. And I will catch you in your next reading.